I want to make something perfectly clear. Are you listening? We, as Black Americans, we as African Americans, we as soul brothers and sisters, we have so many names. I I, I wish we get to the point <laughs> where we can really make up our mind. But as far as the legal identification or label, we would be considered African Americans or Black Americans, those are the two uh, labels or identity that is acceptable by uh, this nation. <clears throat> and I bet, <laughs> I bet even the American government is like, I wish they make up their mind we, because they try to be politically correct. And <laughs> what are you guys today? I, you was Negro, uh, well, a Negro, you're colored, and African Americans, and you're Hebrew Israelites, and Kemetics, and y'all got so much stuff going on. Which one do you guys want to be called? Oh, just forget it. You're you're black. <laughs> so what we want to talk about right now is the support. Of black business. We should. As a group. As any other people. We should support our own. First. We should support. Black business. Here we have a, a mem. This is not black power. Raising the black power fist. Then they show a fist with money. This is why blacks have no power. Well, <laughs> see, well, that's not necessarily true. As a people, not as individuals, but as a people, we have money. We buy video games, we buy drugs, we go to the strip club, we buy liquor. We buy anything, a whole lot of things, because we have money. So just because you have money doesn't necessarily equate to power. It's a whole lot of other factors involved. But we're going to talk about black business. And I would never tell anyone not to support black business. Myself, I have gone way out the way to support black business. However, this is a reality. Let's talk about it. First of all, what must be understood is just because you're a black business. Don't expect black people, soul brothers and sisters, just to support you based upon because you black. You're a business. And a business requires good customer service. Unfortunately, from what I've been told in my own experience, we don't do that very well to our own people. We don't do that very well. We're arrogant and we think we have this sense of entitlement. We look, we look down upon our own selves. We don't deserve a smile. Thank you for shopping. Come back again. We have a, we have terrible customer service. Also, we have to produce a product or a service that people want. You think just because you're a black business, people supposed to just bring you their money and you're not offering something that they really want. 
a service or a product that the people want. Then, of course, as any business, price. How much are you charging for your product? How much are you charging for your service? And we want to become instant millionaires. And just like everybody else, I guess you say, well, all these other people are getting rich off the back of soul brothers and sisters, black people. I, I want to get rich off us too. And we charge ourselves these exorbitant prices for products and services. And then you wonder why we as a people, we don't really support black business. You want to sell me a bottle of lotion for five bucks and we can go to Walmart and get the same quality, basically the same thing from Walmart for 99 cents. And there are those of us, we don't have that kind of money to just be thrown away like that. So. Now and then they might give you or sacrifice $5 for a bottle of lotion, but they're going to basically get their lotion from Walmart, whoever has the best price. We're not competitive with other business. A lot of black owned business. is it has nothing to do with black people. These businesses are for your own personal enrichment. To my knowledge, anybody that opens a black business, the title or the ownership has nothing to do with the community. All the profits, everything about it goes to your personal family. So, because you're black, it is a black-owned business. But a lot of these businesses has nothing to do and don't give a damn about the soul or black community. This is a fact. Two good examples is Motown. Motown Records started by Barry Gordy. His first customers was, of course, Soul Brothers and Sisters. All the profits went to him and his family. He ripped off his artists, Barry Gordy. These, including, I believe, the Jackson 5. He ripped all his artists off. So his family could benefit, not the black community. Motown, black-owned business, but... what we see is that it benefit only Barry Gordon. The same thing with BET, targeting the soul community, targeting black people. But BET don't give a damn about the community. In fact, BET, Black Entertainment Television and uh, Motown, when these brothers got sick of dealing with uh, these successful ventures. They were so greedy. They basically sold the, the business for little or nothing. We don't have that kind of capital. We don't have that kind of money. And here comes the Peckerwood. They have that kind of money. So Viacom, whoever, Capital Records, whoever, Show these brothers, they already rich, like they can't wait. No loyalty to the black community, but the black community, soul community, was the ones who made it possible for them to become wealthy or rich. But they would not sell that business and try to keep it 
in the family. They sold it to foreigners. Another thing about black business is that it's not connected to the people. When you look at white business or any business in the United States of America, each business you must pay taxes and the taxes support this government. It pays for your your roads and maybe the, the police or, or whatever is needed in the country, in the nation. These black businesses have no connection to the black community, whereas they pay a certain amount of percentage, like a tax, to the community so we can support our own private schools, build a factory, or do something for the people. But black-owned business want loyalty from the people just so they personally can become wealthy and build generational wealth for their personal family. Which is bull doo-doo. Spike Lee is a director. I like Spike Lee. But I do not watch Spike Lee films simply because he's a black director. The only Spike Lee film that I really got into was Malcolm X. And we should support our businesses when they produce a product that we want. We should not always support black business simply because a black man, black woman owns the business. They need to produce something that we want. When Spike Lee produce a movie or something that I want to watch, I will support Spike Lee. It's business. It's business. And we forget that. Now, if these businesses were connected to something that actually was benefiting the community, I could understand why. Well, I really don't like Spike Lee films, but I'm going to support Spike Lee because, you know, supporting black business actually support the black community. These businesses pay some kind of taxes to a fund and you see the money supporting our private schools. We can fix our own roads. There's a lot of things that we could do. This is not the case. This is not the case. I'm not into making some Negro wealthy because he black. So Black business, if it's not really supporting the community, they're nothing but a bunch of leeches, a bunch of parasites, just like anybody else that come into our neighborhood. And you have uh, Barry Gordy and Bob Johnson. I don't, I don't, want, I don't even want to live around y'all. These people. When they become successful, they don't even want to live with you no more. I'm going to where the white folks, Hasa Diddy, white folks live. That's not the kind of black business. That's I'm not going to support that. If you want to support that and it makes you feel good, I'm, I'm supporting black business, then you do that. I can't get with that stuff. It's fake. 